Welcome everyone, Adam DeWu here as a recording of the Saturday, November 12th, 2022. Duck's Donuts, I don't think I've ever had coffee from Duck's Donuts. Also, today's adventure, or should I say, Todd Venture. <laughs> YouTube's own Todd Venture channel here. Connie and Todd are here to show me around the greater Charlotte area and also yeah. into South Carolina, right? Yeah, right. sure. What do, you, what do you have up your sleeves um, for, for today? Up my sleeves? Yeah, where are you taking me? Oh, we're gonna go to uh, Heritage USA. Okay. And then another place you've never been to, Heritage Village. Yes. Which was where it all started, pretty much, as far which as- Which is basically the PTL, PTL Club. Yeah. And Jim and Tammy Jim Faye Tammy. Baker, trying yep. to draw a blank on that, yep. because I am really <laughs> enamored by these donuts here. Look at, Connie, look at bacon. Bacon. Connie, tell me what you got, Connie. Got the bacon maple glaze donut and a regular glaze. Regular it looks glaze. Fabulous. Everything go, goes better with bacon. That's it. <laughs> Duck the line. Yeah, man. There was awesome. another. There was another coffee place you guys were going to take me to. We were going to, but it was it. closed. Yeah, like, we drove a thousand miles, and it was closed. You didn't. I drove a thousand miles. Oh, yeah. You drove like two miles. Right. 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 All right, let's get going. Let's I'm get inviting going. you to join me, Connie, and Todd from the Todd Venture Channel. <laughs> Shall you? All right, before these are devoured, I just want to kind of show these a little up more up close and personal. So that's just chunks of bacon, right? Yeah. And what's this, maple on there? Maple glazed, yeah, and with the bacon. A, and that's Yum. just a regular? Regular glaze. Yeah, I'm more of a regular glaze, but this right here, it looks pretty delicious. Yeah, we're going to try it. Okay, we drove a couple miles away. We parked over here behind this very impressive church building. Even though this probably isn't the best view, we're kind of around the back side of the steeple and everything over there. But this neighborhood reminds me out of something, out of a John Hughes film. Obviously John Hughes films were in Chicago, but this kind of has that vibe. But the first spot of the day is the home of an old Western star, Randolph, what was his name? Randolph Scott. Randolph Scott. Oh yeah. He was big in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. Who was really good friends with Cary Grant, right? Oh yeah. Yep. And you were saying Cary Grant once visited here. Oh yeah. So they were kind of like thick as thieves. Pretty they much. were uh they were buds. They were yeah, they were like this. Yeah. In a lot of ways. Yep. And this was his home right here. Yep. And I learned something kind of interesting too. I was looking up a little bit about Randolph Scott on the way to the drive over from the Ducks Donuts. Also, I should say, this is probably the most scaldingly hot coffee <laughs> I've ever had. Yep. What'd you oh by the way, well, how was the donut? It was fabulous. Loved it. Yeah? yeah. And the coffee is good too? Very good. Did you get a hot coffee or, or a cold coffee? Hot. Are you a piping hot guy too? Uh, uh, your team, yes, your I'm team hot? Popping, I'm a popping woo! All right, oh. nice, very nice. <laughs> but this thing is warm. Also, his name was mentioned in Blazing Saddles when they said you'll do it for Randolph Scott. That was in Blazing Saddles. So a lot of pop culture references. But also, the Oakland Raiders now the Las Vegas Raiders were the LA Raiders. They used his face, yep. the gentleman who used to live here, the Western Star, and his face is the logo of the pirate. They use his face to model after the, the pirate. That's pretty cool. Have you ever been to this house before? Have you ever I've been to I've driven by it, but I couldn't really see because it was night. It was dark. This is a nice area. This is, very, this is my favorite area in Charlotte. Kind of had those areas of Cleveland that are like this too, that have a lot of the brick houses. Yeah, exactly. And then obviously Chicago as well. Some caution tape. This is probably left over from Halloween. Or something else. I'm not, I'm not sure. But there is no placard here. There's no, there's no info. Is there? I don't. There's info, of course. I mean, there's plenty of stuff online you can find out about Randolph Scott living here yeah. and being from here. He was. What's weird is he's he's he was accidentally born in Virginia. Family went on vacation, right? And mom went on into labor. And but he was born. He's. I mean, he's from here, but he's born in Virginia because all of a sudden, boom. But I see a like a historic little placard looks like up there. Yeah. On the. Okay, maybe there is one yeah, up there. One We're not going to walk up in their yard, but right, exactly. he passed away in Beverly Hills, obviously a big famous right. Hollywood actor. But he's right. got his, I want to say humble beginnings. This is a pretty nice house, but he oh, got his, yeah. his beginnings were here. We're here. Yep. Part, partially. He wasn't born here, but 
lived here a good portion of his life. Beautiful home. Him and Carrie Grant mm -hmm. having some having some good times right here on this property. We kind of walked around the side back yeah, to yeah, walk over there because they back to the car. But look at the there's like even a a separate chalet back around the back. Yeah, this is this is a nice house and some old Hollywood Western history right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Who knew? I'm riding in the passenger seat of the Venture Mobile. Todd Venture Mobile. <laughs> Where are we off to next? We're heading, we're actually about to cross into Billy Graham territory. Right up here is Billy Graham, the family, owned a lot of this property at one time. This was his farm all through here. And uh, the mall, there's the Park Road Shopping Center, which we'll be passing in just a minute. We'll see that right up here. But we're heading towards Heritage Village. So right it's not here. Heritage USA, it was the precursor yep. to Heritage USA, which I did not know about until you told me about it. That's right. So we're getting a little prehistory to Heritage USA. Exactly. Heritage Village. Got it. Okay, we're at the location where Jim and Tammy Faye Baker's home used to sit. This is Heritage Village. Yep. And where did they, did they tear it down or did they move it? They tore it down. They tore it down. Yep, and that's where the house is. And then up the hill, he can keep driving up. Okay. Up the hill is the original building. So this is the original the, spot. Yep. Where Heritage Village. Village was before it became Heritage USA. So PTL kind of started here. This is where it started. We're going to walk around and check it out. And I'll tell you about this building here. This is not the original building that was here. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what was there. When All I right. Walk around. Cool. So they would walk from their house yep. up here, and they would do the original PTL show. Yep. And then, of course, as it got more popular, they moved across the state line to South Carolina to Fort Mill. So this is a newer building. This is newer to the to the Fort Church. It's uh, a new church now. A new church. But, but what used to be here were the Williamsburg homes. Oh. They were, they, it was kind of like he wanted to model after a Williamsburg setting, like colonial period. Yeah. So they had three homes here that you go into, and they were like very historic looking. They had little gardens, just like growing real plants and everything. Yeah, right here. They tore the homes down, but this is the original mansion? That was here, yeah. And I, I can't remember who owned it, but that's been here since probably, I think, the late 40s is when this was built. Now back here, tucked away, is where they would do the original show. So this is where the show took place. So this is an original building. That's the original building. Back here. Yep. That's it. And this again, is... it has that Williamsburg look to it because he wanted to model it after Williamsburg. Yeah. That's amazing. This is where it all this is where it all began. Oh, right. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. All right, I found an old postcard online. So this is the old postcard here before they moved down to Fort Mill, South Carolina. So this is like kind of, there's the steeple and all that, and then down here is some text of what the postcard says right here. So see, PTL Club, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28279, right there. That is so fascinating that it wasn't always down at Heritage. It was up here across the state line in North Carolina. Years ago. This doorway here, a lot of people don't know about, is a pool. Oh, back here behind here? Yes. You go in that back door, and you go down the stairs, and it was a Grecian, Romanist looking pool. And I used to go there years ago. Really? And swim in the pool. It was an awesome pool. And it, later they filled the pool up. But you go down there, and the, all the walls were mirrors. Yeah. Around there. The pillars and they had a couple statues in there. So they they filled the pool up. They filled the pool up, but back in the eighties, when they first had this property, you can go down there and go swimming. Long time ago. All right, from here I just looked up on the maps and it says it's nineteen minutes. And you could actually still type in Heritage USA. It's just south of Pineville, right across the state line. So it's about a twenty minute commute when they moved from here down to there. I'm surprised you could still type in Heritage USA because yeah. it's not even called, it hasn't been called that forever. Ever, yeah. Okay, we made it to Fort Mill. Well, just a couple miles outside Fort Mill, South Carolina. We crossed over the state line. Heritage Boulevard. And the original entrance into Heritage USA 
used to be right down here. Now I covered Heritage USA back I think in February or March I was through here, but a lot of the stuff I'm showing I did not know until today with Todd showing me around and Billy Graham's home was moved a couple times and it sat here too. So Billy Graham's home was over on that corner. Yeah, right over there. That's where it was and right there was a little hill there and you could park, the parking lot was right there. So it was moved a couple times. Yeah. Now it's at there, the, the Billy Graham Library. They moved it piece by piece from the first time was from Charlotte and then they moved it over here. Yeah. And it was there for since 1983 to about 2000, early 2000s. And then they started building the Billy Graham Library. You know, and the original sign you see in all the photos of Heritage yeah. USA was down at the bottom of that hill. We should walk down there. Let's do it. So this is where the checkpoint was right as to head in. And that is original. The that little rock over work over there. Yeah, where the flags are. That's, that was here. And you had the Heritage USA flag up here, and the American flag. Up top, yeah. And the PTL flag. Yeah. Oh, so the same flag poles. Yep. Wow. That's the original. Yeah, oh yeah, you can see this has definitely yeah, been America around for a while. Yeah. Little relics here. I can't remember if they had fountains here or not. And the American flag. So Heritage was here. Yep. And the PTL. In the middle? On the side? Side. And then the American flag. In the middle. This wooden sign here, this Heritage USA wooden sign, was down at the bottom of the hill. Kind of showing the photo here. And where the sign was, was right down at the bottom of this hill. So those condos and apartments over there, that was just a wooded area. So you turn off this and go drive up the side of the hill into Heritage USA. Okay, I was incorrect. It was not over there. No, it was right there. Oh, it was right here. So these are the same trees that yep. were behind it. Yep. Holy cow, okay. Well, and that's where it was. So you pulled in, that was the first thing you were greeted with. Okay, so it was not there. I was assuming wrong. It was right here. So these are the trees you see yep. behind that photo. I wonder if there's any remnants of the of the pole. Look at this ant bed. Uh, Holy cow. Look at this thing. <laughs> that is a monumental ant bed. I'm not going to disturb. I'm not going to disturb that at all. Oh, no. Holy moly. That is, uh, yeah. I wonder if that's ready. You see any remnants in there? That is. <laughs> that was Ryland Holmes. What is it, honey? The Ryland Holmes thing. I didn't move it. Yeah, it was right in here. Check this out. I've seen photos of that. I've seen photos of that sign for years, but never knew exactly where it was. Big anthill right there. Big anthill there. But this is where it was, right here. This whole thing. Yep. And that's the trees. All right, we're now pulling onto the property. This was the original guest center, like the welcome center, yep. where you get guide maps and things like that. You can definitely tell the original architecture here of this building, which I don't even know if it's even used anymore. It's like a whole housing and apartment condo development around here, but you can definitely see this is dated back to the heritage days. I mean, that just looks like a welcome center. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that parking lot was full all the time. Driving through the, the wooded area here. That was my man, but this is the original neighborhood. This was the first neighborhood to build here. Dogwood Hills was called something different back then, but this is the original houses that were built on property, and this is where Jim's parents lived. Yep. Maybe not in this one per se, but no. in this in this development through here. It's called Dogwood Hill and Tall Oaks. Yeah, yeah look at this place. Yeah, I didn't even know all this was back in here either. That's awesome. These are not nice. Yeah. This like is nice. Mm -hmm. Well, tucked away back in here. Yeah. Yep. Oversized mailboxes. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Really oversized. But right in here was the original. All through here. And who else lived in here? Uncle Henry. Uncle Henry. He was, uh, he was on the show he also. Was the Ed McMahon. Yes! Um, you for, are correct. He was the Ed McMahon yeah, was, of the PTL club. <laughs> but he was awesome. Super nice guy, dude. Made it over to the main area. Of course, here is the tower that was never completed. 
just sitting here, kind of rotting away in the middle of the property. Now, a lot of the former buildings that are here are still being utilized by another church. In fact, over here, we're going to be walking inside there. But the Heritage Tower still sits here as well. Never completed. Huge building. Completely empty. You getting your bearings now? Yeah, I am. Because you came out here a lot of times back when you were younger. Yeah. So you know this area very, very well. Pretty, pretty well. Yeah, it was like the, besides going to Carowinds, coming here was the other spot. Yeah. Did you come here when it was the theme park? Yep. Wow. In the water park. That is amazing. One thing that's interesting when you go in here, it reminds me a lot of Disneyland's Main Street USA. Inside the building. Inside. Not outside, inside. <laughs> the old cafeteria here, the Grand Cafe, obviously was inspired by the Crystal Palace at Magic Kingdom. There's a pew there. You refer to it as a pew. Yeah. So this is very interesting. As you walk in here, you can definitely tell that Jim, he's even said in interviews, that he really wanted to create a Disney-esque type of place. Look at this. They're having a conference over here. Look at this. Look at this. This is amazing. Now I believe over here is where some of the Jim and Tammy Faye Baker stuff artifacts are. So I'm gonna go see if I can get that. We saw some of the employees outside and they told us we could come in here, but they're having a conference, just don't disturb the conference over there. All right, so I recently watched The Eyes of Tammy Faye. I highly recommend that movie. The actress that played Tammy Faye Baker did a great job and it really kind of puts things in a perspective of how Tammy Faye was, just such a wonderful, happy person. And the story, I believe him and their son, who is a minister now, approved of the movie. Now, I don't want to put any words in his mouth, but I think he really liked the way it was depicted as well. But here's some photos of how it was back in the day. It almost looks like kind of Mr. Toad's wild ride there. You know, just some of the history that is through here, the PTL network. There's Jim and Tammy Faye there, Baker Drive. Oh, there's the doll. The Susie Moppet doll. Look at that, you can buy a Susie Moppet doll, 1985. This is amazing. Yeah, it was showing all this stuff. This is incredible, it's like a little mini museum. Yeah, yeah. I, have, I have some of these books at the house. <laughs> the funny There's part. Tammy there. Wow. Some of the keepsakes from Heritage USA. I just like the fact that they still have all this stuff. I kind of partially figured that they want a lot of this era to be forgotten. I mean, for obvious reasons, but yeah. They still have it. There's some of the photos, the Passion Play photos there. Look at this shirt. There's the barn where they would have the shows, the PTL shows. Oh, here's Uncle Henry right here. We just saw where he lived. And then the Wendy's, this castle was the world's largest Wendy's. <laughs> it was the train. I just love all this history stuff. You remember when that picture was taken? Yes, I remember that. I was there. You were there when that Yes. Was... No kidding. Yep, I was behind the camera. We had a, they had a whole stage and I was there in that day. And I remember that picture was taken. Holy cow, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's your old map. It's hilarious. And this is in the building we're in right now, right here. There's the fountain. That's the main building we're in. Yep. We should walk we over the Christmas that. shows there. A lot of those are still on the internet. You could watch yeah. all the Christmas shows and Jim and Tammy Faye there mm -hmm. doing the Christmas shows and all that. And you attended some of those. Yes, I did. And the rooms were awesome. There's one of the bedrooms. And where are, the, are these in this building? Yes, yeah, right above us. Right above us. Mm -hmm. Above like the little Main Street USA area. Yeah. And there's Dino. Yeah. Who was Dino? Dino? He was a piano player. He was the Liberace of Christian music, pretty much. And take a look at this. So there is Main Street. Look, it actually says Main Street 
right there. I want one of these shirts. Look at this retro shirt right here. Oh, look at the little like lapels. I have some at home, I think. I gotta find You have some of those? Yep. Yeah, I can send you one. If I find it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yep, they used to hand those out. Popcorn and hot dog and stuff. Yeah, this looks like it'd be like a cart. Yeah. I mean obviously it's, I keep mentioning Disney, but you can definitely tell there was a Disney inspiration for this. The Main Street trolley. Look at this, this is Main Street USA. It's like literally Main Street USA through here. Heritage Transit. Main Street USA, this whole inside. Did you ever buy a hot dog from here, Todd? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Look at this, it's the, re this is Club 33 right here. Club 33. <laughs> we call that Easter egg. It's Club 33. Yep, the little Easter eggs. You have to look carefully, we'll find some. So all those rooms are up here? Yeah. I mean, they, were like, they went for class. Incredible. And they decorate this like crazy. With Christmas time, you see garland all over. So you should be decorating it soon. I hope so. Am I in Anaheim right now? Am I in Central Florida right now? Am I at Disneyland Paris right now? Nope. I'm in South Carolina right now. Eerie. It is so eerily like a Disney Main Street USA. Look at this. I just love this. This is so it's wild. And because there is a conference going on down here, they do have a store if anyone wants to buy something. Over here next to this, con well, the conference center is not in the conference. Well, the conference is not in this conference center. It's at the other one at the other end. But there's a little store here called Goshen groceries. I'm not sure who Goshen was. There's one little store open right here. 50 years of Walt Disney World. Wait, I thought I was somewhere else. I thought I was somewhere else. Uh, I, can, I can tell you one thing though, you look good in that jacket. It's nice, right? It's kind it, of yeah, I love it. I like it. <laughs> I love this. Main Street Little Theater. Look at this. So they would change the coloration of the roof? Yeah, the ceiling would be like different. They would see clouds and one would be nighttime. Yeah. It kind of has like, obviously, it has the Disney Main Street vibe, but it also kind of reminds mm -hmm. me of like inside some of the buildings in Vegas. Yes. Kind of has those indoor Vegas vibes. Oh, what's funny is I think this was before Vegas did the inside stuff. Really? This is done in... What year do you think, what year was this built? 84. 84, okay. So that's about right, because they started enclosing a lot of the old strip of Vegas. Have you ever been in here before? This is the first time. What do you think? What's your initial this thought walking through here? It's absolutely stunning. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, I've just seen pictures. It's like a hidden gem in here. Gem, a hidden gem. It's a hidden Tammy exactly. in here. It's a hidden Tammy in here. And there are people that are Easter eggs here. There are Easter eggs? Like the 33 we saw. You think that's intentional? I don't, I, I don't know, man. The only thing, other thing, I did, didn't Jesus die when he was 33? That could have been it, yeah. That's the only True. Thing I think of. The age of Jesus, yeah, that could have been it. I like to think it's Club 33. I, I think Probably not, but I'm just going to say that. There used to be a restaurant up here as well, and paid there a few times too. Back the in Grand the Entry. Mm -hmm. So where we're going now, I don't want to disturb their conference, but they have, this is where all the Christmas stuff took place over here. Yep. And you can see a lot, you can just easily search PTL Club Christmas stuff from back in the day. You'd see a lot of videos around this corner. Oh yeah, I want to also get a shot of this. Guy. Look at this. They just need an emporium in here. Sweet. They had their own. So circle. this was their suite. Yeah, it was here. I don't think it was that. One. I'm pretty sure. It was Look at that one. doors open. It's that doors yeah. ajar up there. Yeah. Man, so are these still you? These rooms are still used. That, I think they are for conferences and whatnot. Right. You could go down a deep rabbit hole looking up footage and photos of this place mm -hmm. and the history of it. Yep. Pretty cool to be able to get back inside there once again. Like I said, I've covered a little bit of this, but I'm covering some stuff I hadn't done last time I was here nine or ten months ago. Over here, this used to be painted all along the side there. You can see the Heritage Tower off in the distance. And the famous photo of Jim Baker I think it was ABC News or someone did like a whole article on him. He was right here against this railing, sitting right here. And the bridge is only like a half bridge now. 
This is like an original building over here, and then the water park was over there. And he was, uh, Jim Baker was right here against this railing, probably like right here, more or less. And it's just been repainted, but that's the spot. Just to show for some context here, the gazebo is gone. Now it's all just like a, it's like a housing development, like condos and like apartments and whatnot over there. Across the water, you see the water slide. Where Jerry Falwell went down the slide. Went down the slide. Did you get to witness the Jerry Falwell water slide moment? I wasn't here that day. You weren't here that day? No. That would have been a historic moment yes. in PTL history. Yep. I do remember it. That's, for sure. that's, that's where it used to be, the slide where that house is, or where that building is? Yeah, right over there. In fact, that's the, the train yep. used to go across this bridge. Yep. And in the movie, Eyes of Tammy Faye, Jerry Falwell was played by the same guy from Full Metal Jacket. The, the guy from Full Metal Jacket played Falwell. It's a pretty good movie. Eyes of Tammy Faye, and that's the original building over there. Oh, we should walk over to the world's largest Wendy's that used to be right over there in the form of a castle. We should walk over there. Okay. Yeah, even since the last time I was here, they haven't really changed too much. You can see the train track turned that corner there and went right along there. The remnants of the past. Theme park history. This was a very popular theme park. For the couple years that it was very, very busy, it's said to rival some of Disney's numbers as far as crowds. Seems kind of hard to believe, but yeah, it was very busy. Doesn't this remind you of It's full on Crystal Palace from Magic, Kingdom, from Magic yeah. Kingdom. So this was a Wendy's? <laughs> no, no, no. No, the Wendy's was a little bit farther over. Oh, okay. There was a big castle over here that's been torn down. Oh, okay. And they put the, I don't even know if it ever even opened. They never completed it. But it was gonna be the world's largest Wendy's. Okay, so here is a photo of the castle. It has since been bulldozed, but this is what the castle looked like. And you can see the pillars are still here or where the, where the pillars used to stand on the concrete. If it only it was still open, or it had opened, so here was the tower. We could have gone inside here and got ourselves a, a Junior Bacon. And just to talk about the Disney tie-in once again, even though technically this is was not, they didn't quote say that it was inspired by Disney World or anything like that. The castle does resemble you know, Sleeping Beauty or Cinderella Castle that used to sit right here. My mom has a photo album, my grandpa, who was a minister, Southern member, minister that came out here back when all this was being built and my mom has a photo of my grandpa standing in front of what my mom assumed to be a Disney castle and put it in with the Disney World photos when in fact it was right here in front of this castle underneath the uncompleted tower. kind of wish I had that photo. I gotta at some point I try to find that photo of my grandpa on my mom's side standing in front of this castle here from Probably back in the early 80s, maybe. Eh, mid 80s. That's some of the tile work here. Yeah. And none of this has changed in the last year since I was here. Tile work of the, the ground. Now, since the last time I was here, I kind of went down, like I said, a rabbit hole of watching a lot of the old PTL telethons and whatnot. And they really were pushing this tower very heavily, almost like a timeshare. Well, it was a timeshare of sorts. And people did invest in this. Probably a lot of them probably didn't get their money back because this thing was never completed. But the way it was going to work is people will be able to come here a couple times a year and have one of these rooms to go to the theme park, go to the water park, ride the train, go to the Main Street USA, all that. And they'll be able to stay right here on property. But obviously, knowing the history of it, it was never completed and the whole thing just fell apart and crumbled. And this thing sits here empty all these years later. This does anyway. The other building is still being used inside for Morningstar Church. Different church. Now there are people who camp out here still and there are apartments obviously. So what was over here where these apartments were now? This used to be where there was a roller skating rink here, there was tennis courts here, and they had log cabin shaped vendors, stores, that were, you'd go up a hill and you would uh, go shopping. There were a couple of restaurants there. Uh, as you, it was all, you know, just entertainment and there was uh... Did you ever use the roller skating rink? Oh yeah. And this yep. here, if I remember this last time I was here, this was an old tram stop right here. Yep, there it is. That is now used for propane for the RV, but you can see, yep. that's an old tram stop from the heritage days. And where that fence is, it went straight. Yep. We're now passing where we show the original spot that the PTL was recorded at. 
but over here was a place they called the barn and it was right inside there where it moved here at Heritage. And it is now the Antioch International Church. There's another tram, tram stop right there. But you can see a lot of old photos of this call. You can see how it looks like a barn. That's why they called it. It's called the barn or the Heritage Barn, something barn. And Jim and Tammy would enter from this area. This is where they would walk in? Yeah, this is where they would park back here. All the television people would park back here. So this is inside the barn. This is where they had all the stands kind of going up at a staircase style, and the stage was over here. And this is where they did all those PTL shows. We're kind of noticing too, they added on this front section to where the barn is. And I was stating how the seats were in there, the elevated seats, but anything that you could find online of the show taking place was not really so much in the barn portion. It was farther back over in here. So a lot of the televised stuff was in like the studio fountain still here. Is it open? Yeah. Okay, so I did, last time I was here I didn't even peek in this little window. Yep. So this is where the main studio entrance right. was. And you walk there and there'll be the chairs, the seats for you, and then the uh, actual stage. And they'd have the Jim and Tammy portraits were right here on these right. walls. Yep, here. And they also had some pictures where we went earlier for the uh, uh, village, um, Heritage Village. They'd have them on the wall too, okay. where it all started. But right through there is where the, mm -hmm. the shows took place. They enter here and I think on the other side. Now I can't get in this section, but right through there is where the original sound stage was. Right through those doors where all the chairs were set up and the stage and all those episodes took place that were recreated in pretty good detail on the eyes of Tammy Faye, the movie. Now we're kind of walking the perimeter here. It's kind of interesting. So there's some loading docks over here, but notice this little doorway up here and these individual garage doors over here, almost, I could see them pulling their vehicles in here so they don't have to go through any, like this would probably lead into the stage area right over here. I mean, look at these garage doors. That has to be what that is. Just very unique individual style garage doors here. Fascinating. And there's a little hidden door over here too. And it kind of works out, the fact that we're here, coincidentally, the upper room, which is not always open, is open today until 6 p.m. It's my shadow there. So you're gonna be able to go inside the upper room when I was here last time, you know, nine, 10 months ago, could not get up to the upper room. It is a rarity that it is open. Be able to get inside here. Do we go up this? It's also free stuff day. Take a look at this, free stuff day. Got some prayer rooms over here. Look at this room, this is called the upper room inside this building on private. Look at this, this is awesome. And this is an exact replica of the Last Supper table in Jerusalem over here next to these like stained glass windows. So Jim Baker went to Korea, he came back and said those did not have prayer rooms. So Jim Baker wanted prayer rooms being built here. So that's why there's prayer rooms. It looks like there might be someone in there. That door's shut there. This gentleman just informed us on the history of why there's prayer rooms in this one. And here's a photo of Pastor Aubrey Sarah, the first pastor at the upper room. And there's a lot of different articles up here about the upper room as well. Okay, it says free stuff today. I'm definitely going to throw throw a little money in the uh, in the offering donation plate because look at this. This is I'm going to yeah. Some of the stuff I need like need to have is like a souvenirs. Jimmy Tammy program. I'm sure they have like a little. It's right there. Yeah, a little donation box over there. Yeah, that's right. Because this stuff, look at this. This is vinyl of the PTL. This is, so is this vinyl? Like original too. This is records. Yeah, yeah that's original. Oh that's my. That's the real deal. Okay, yeah. You need it. I need, yeah. I need some of this. This is. Free, but definitely leave a donation. Oh yeah, 100%. For sure. Now look at this. Tammy Faye and Tammy Sue Mother's Day 1991 on VHS. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get one of those. Get one of these here. It's free stuff, Dad. Yeah, so that's over there. The mm -hmm. building adjacent right. to where we were over in the barn. Yep. That was the set. Yep. Right one right of them. One of the one main of the, sets. They changed it out. Yep. And the first minister here at the upper room, Aubrey Sarah, is laid to rest here. Passed away in 1982. Over here next to the little memorial garden. 
as well. It's so cool. Like, so I've been here before, as stated. I keep reiterating that. But everything I'm doing today is new stuff I wasn't didn't have access to before, wasn't able to see before. So, pretty awesome. Okay, heading out of the property now. Wanted to show this building, which is now titled Laura Ashley. This was the original offices. Jim and Tammy Faye and PTL and a lot of the other executives and whatnot. And from what Todd was just telling me, He's very informed here on the area because he lived here in this area his whole life and a lot of memories here on site. That up here was where Jim and Tammy Faye's offices were on the very tip top of this pyramid looking structure. They had like the box, like the, where it would come up, like plants in it, trees. some planters. Yeah. It's like stepping back in time looking down this hallway. Mm -hmm. And look at this camera up top here. Look at that relic right there. That like screams 80s. Yes, it does. Something out of like an 80s film. All right, back in the Todd Venture Mobile. Look here. <laughs> We're stopped here at the light, but I wanted to focus in on downtown Charlotte over there. Disregard the green red arrows. Kind of hard to disregard it, I guess you're just right there. In our motorboat. But that's a good skyline. Yeah, it is. Motorboat? Yeah, in here. Motorboat. Where do you see a motorboat? Oh, it's beside us. <laughs> it's now time for a very late lunch. Well, early dinner, late lunch. This place that is recommended called Midwood Smokehouse. Now I'm noticing over here the salt and pepper in old Coca Cola bottles. And this is what we're dealing with. I went with the burnt tips over here with a little broccoli and cheese with a little mac and cheese and I went with broccoli and cauliflower as well and then they got the burnt tips down here and then some like pickles of some sort. This is like a honey mustard, is that what she said? A honey, mu yep. a honey mustard. Yeah, sweet barbecue. Sweet barbecue and you got the chicken and yeah. you got yeah, the, uh, the Brunswick stew. Brunswick stew. Cauliflower and broccoli. And then this is, those are little hush, puppy. uh, hush puppies over there. Yeah. yeah, it says right here the Midwood Smokehouse team is full of barbecue nerds. Our expert pit masters stay up all night to tend to our hickory embers. We got the experience. So there's no gas here. Just true wood-fired BBQ. I also should mention I also got some hush puppies down here as well. I realized I got a lot of cheese. So I got the I got the broccoli and cheese and then I got mac and cheese. All right. That's going to do it for today. Going to end it here. Midwood Smokehouse. It was very good. I think some rain, some precipitation might be rolling in into the evening hours. Make sure you check out Todd Venture, Todd Venture on YouTube. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. That car's leaving too, probably has a full belly just like we do. The vlog is over. <laughs>